Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you, sir? Fine. Yes. You? My name is Hassan. I am one of the EV doctors. Uh, may I have your name and uh, age, please? Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Amir. I am uh, 32 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Amir. Yes. Uh, I have been told that today you came after you sustained a needle injury. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yes. I'm okay. really sorry for that, so I'm here to take brief history regarding your presentation. Is that okay with you? Oh, it's okay. Okay, so before starting, are you comfortable? Yes, I am comfortable. Okay, yes. uh, do you need any painkiller? No, no need for painkiller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, Did you come by yourself or someone came with you? I came with uh, my colleague outside. Okay, uh, if you want, we can invite them to stay with us as well. No need, no need. Okay, okay. I'm going to invite one nurse to stay with us as a chaperone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. So, uh, please, could you tell me more, please, what's happened today? Uh, sir, when I was working in the orthopedic uh, department, I got some uh, needle stick in my uh, right finger. Right. Yeah. So you are working in the orthopedic department? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the, your immunization status against hepatitis B? Yes, I uh, full immunized until today. Okay, you are fully immune? Yes. And uh, did you check your immunity recently? Yes, before uh, six months. Okay, so it was up to date, right? Yes, up to date. Okay, and what about immunization against uh, tetanus? Mm, tetanus as well. I uh, immunize against the tetanus as well. Right, yes. this is very good. This yes. is very good. And regarding the mechanism of injury, at that time, when the injury was happened, firstly? The injury is, uh, happened in the operation room. While I operate the patient, uh, I got the injury in my uh, index right finger. In the theater, right? Yes, in theater. Right. Uh, at that time, you were wearing gloves? Yes, I was uh, wearing gloves. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you saw any blood coming out beneath the uh, beneath the gloves? Yes, uh, it uh, was dripping in uh, uh, out the glove. Out so you the saw the blood. Yes, I saw the blood. Okay. And uh, what was the type of the needle? Was it was a whole white bore needle or a straight needle? No, it is a straight needle. Straight needle. Yes. Uh, okay. And at that time, the site of implantation, you was taking sample or injecting the patient? Mm, what uh, was when I was uh, injecting the patient in uh, his vein. Okay, and okay. after that you got the injection. I got the injury. Okay, is there any blood uh, visible in the device? Yes, after uh, got uh, take off the needles, I observed some uh, blood in the device dribbling from the needle. Dribbling. Yes. Right. And what was the first aid done by you? I was uh, washing my hand and, uh, so and uh, extract blood from the. Okay. So you you encourage bleeding. I encourage and bleeding from my. Finger. And you wash it with uh, running water. With running water and soap. Right, yes. right. Okay, yes. that's very good. Yes. And what about the donor? Uh, he's still in the hospital, I assume, right? Yes, he admitted in our uh, hospital. Okay, what was the age of the patient? Uh, I think it is uh, 30-something. 30-something? What yes. was the diagnosis for him? Uh, he had uh, knee replacement. Knee replacement? Yes. Okay, and uh, did you check the records for the patient? Yes, he is uh, free. He is free. Uh, he is medically, medically free. free yes. There is no HIV or hepatitis B. There is B. no HIV or any infectious disease. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. And regarding your past medical history, do you have any past medical history of notice? Uh, no. No, I have no any medical history. Any surgery done for you before? No, no. Uh, is any allergy from any medications? Uh, I have no any allergy from any medication. Very good. Yes. Very good. Uh, and what about uh, your social issue? Are, are you smoking? Yes, I am a heavy smoker. Okay, heavy yes. smoker? Yes. Right. And what about drinking alcohol? Uh, sometimes, not always. Occasionally. Yes. yes. Okay, and I'm sorry for this uh, question. Mm. Uh, is there any by chance in the past or uh, currently are you using any illicit drug like cocaine, shooting, or IV? Never, never. Okay. I did never use. You never used it before? Yes. So, do you have any ideas what's going on or, or what's your concern about these circumstances, what's happened today? Yeah, really, I have concern about uh, some uh, infectious transmitted disease like HIV or some infectious disease in my body. Okay. Yes. And is there any specific expectations from us to be done for you in yes, the Yes, I, I expect to give me some uh, vaccine or some uh, prophylaxis for this, uh, against this disease. Okay. So your uh, expectation and concern are genuine. Yes. So our management plan, we uh, that's, I need to provide you with some information. After sustaining such injury, there is possibility for blood-borne viruses transmission like hepatitis B, HIV, and hepatitis C. The percentage will be for hepatitis B is 30 percent, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, hepatitis C is 3 percent, and HIV is 0.3 percent okay. from a positive donor. Okay. Right? And so our management plan, we're going to take samples from you uh, for hepatitis B, C, and HIV serology for uh, possible future baseline screening mm -hmm. for those uh, diseases. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, I'm going to check your immunity against mm -hmm. hepatitis B mm -hmm. to make sure that it's up to date. And meanwhile, I'm going to contact the doctors who is taking care of the patient to take a consent from him mm -hmm. for hepatitis B, 
uh, see an HIV as well. And uh, meanwhile, we can make an incident. So I recommend you to go upstairs in your ward mm -hmm. to do an incident uh, report regarding this uh, event. Mm -hmm. And I want to provide you with some advice as well mm -hmm. that you have to take a barrier regarding sexual intercourse mm -hmm. until there is a full clearance. And plus, uh, I also advise you there is no any blood donation or any uh, sharing of the razors or any sharp materials or toothbrushes with others until there is a full clearance. Plus, I'm going to provide you with the follow-up with the occupational health uh, clinic so they can provide you with the further issues. Regarding your concern, regarding the post-exposure prophylaxis, we have specific criteria mm -hmm. for which mandating us as a physician mm -hmm. to prescribe for you the post-exposure prophylaxis. Okay. And meanwhile, from the, this description, it is less likely that you will get all, any of those uh, in uh, blood-borne viruses. Okay. because it is low risk and the donor the record is negative as well okay so well, after clearance of the donor you will be cleared as well okay well, so nice. meanwhile the the plan is uh, clear for you yes but i have concern uh, yes, i sure. will get married uh, this month uh, what about the sexual intercourse yes regarding the sexual intercourse i, I advise you to take a barrier mm. uh, until there is a full clearance okay. so just try to practice safe uh, intercourse until there is a full clearance okay is my plan clear for you? Yes, clear. Very Do clear. you have any further questions? No, thank you. Okay, I will be more than happy to answer. You can find me in the ED at any time. Okay, thank okay. you. Nice to much. meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.